I'm Jamie, and if you've watched a couple of my previous videos, you know that I am creating a uh, video overview series of the different bags that I currently build. As I've said in other videos, many of the bags that I picture will have customer options uh, that have been requested, and this bag is no different. There's a few options this customer has requested. They wanted a main flat buckle, and the cube bag is one of the main one of the bags that I can actually put a main flat buckle on. They wanted a main flap uh, leader pocket, Velcro leader pocket for additional storage, leaders and terminal tackle. And they also requested another leader pocket Velcro on the underside of the main flap. Again. Another great place uh, to put uh, storage on this bag, which would otherwise go unused. So, as you probably heard me say, this is what I call my cube bag. It is a four tube bag that's essentially in a cube shape. The dimensions are around seven inches in width, around 10 inches tall, and around seven and a half inches front to back. So let's get to the inside of the bag here. So this bag comes standard with, I call these wetsuit ears. Uh, don't know what other people refer to them as, but I call them wetsuit ears. And essentially they help to retain lures. Uh, if you're swimming, lures have a tendency to want to, you know, float up in the bag because they're buoyant. So it helps to just retain the, uh, the lures inside the tubes. If you're driving, bag tips over or something like that, stuff's not going to be creeping out as easily. So I put uh, hook Velcro on this side of the flap, and then on the body I have loop Velcro so that the flaps can be moved out of the way. And you can also remove the tube set and tuck the flaps inside the bag, and then they're totally out of your way. And that's perfect for people who are uh, beach walking, jetties, uh, stuff like that, where you just, you don't need the, need the flaps, get them out of your way. So the four tube cube bag obviously has four tubes. They are each three inches in diameter by eight inches in length. So above the tube, there is approximately an inch of headroom above the tube. And I put that headroom in there so that you can hang lures by the front set of treble hooks and the nose of the lure doesn't cause the flap of the bag to uh, tent up. It has some, it has some space uh, to sit in there. So the four tube cube also comes standard with four bucktail loops in the front of the bag and behind the bucktail loops there are slots where you can hang uh, tins. All of my shoulder bags obviously come with a shoulder strap and my shoulder straps are adjustable as well as removable and I'm going to get this shoulder strap out of here so that it's not cluttering things up. Oh, in addition to the shoulder strap on the back of my bags I also have belt loops and you can see these here let's see if I can get that so there's room for your surf belt to slide underneath there and use this as a belt bag. Also on the back of my shoulder bags I put stainless steel D-rings. When you cast surf casting rod that a bag has a tendency to want to rotate around your body so you can put a clip on your surf belt, clip a D-ring from the back of the bag on there and minimize the, uh, the spinning of the bag. All of my shoulder bags also come with the buddy lock attachment system on the side, which is part of my patent on my bags. And I'll show you how this works. So here's an accessory uh, that is to hold seven inch uh, van stall pliers. So you just lock the bases together, twist it into place, and there is a retention strap on the bottom of the accessory. You lock that down to the lower clip and that keeps the accessory from wanting to twist off. So now you've got your bag with your pliers locked on the side. 
Another accessory, for example, say you need to carry more lures. Maybe this isn't enough, or these are eight inch tubes in here. Maybe you want to carry some shorter lures. Uh, so this is an accessory called add a tube. Uh, it uses a six and a half inch tube. And you could lock that onto the other side of the bag, clip in the retention strap, and there you've got your cube bag with uh, pliers as well as an attitude on the side. So on the bottom of the cube bag, I have, I installed 10 stainless steel drainage grommets. They get the water out of this bag really quickly. All the tube sets have caps on them that are drilled to evacuate water as well. The Cube is a, is a pretty compact bag. So if you're looking for a bag where you really don't need to carry the kitchen sink with you, uh, but you're looking to carry enough capacity that you can you know, spend an evening or day on the water with good sized, uh, good sized lures, pencil poppers, stuff like that, um, maybe the Cube bag is the bag for you. Um, in the bottom of this video, I am going to put a link, which is for my bag uh, quote and order form. And in that form, I show all of the different options that I allow for uh, the different bags that I build, you know, grid stitching color, trim color, the addition of uh, leader pockets. Some bags have the option for a main flat buckle. Uh, many bags, but not all, have the option for an under flap uh, liter storage, stuff like that. So I hope this video has been informative, and I look forward to building a bag for you.